Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. <laughs> so, uh, let's just see what comes up for a message today. You know that the timing is fluid. We are expecting a huge uh, uproar in the near future. Okay, I, you know, I, it's coming. It really, if you have not experienced it yet, it is absolutely coming. You know what I feel, and I was thinking about it earlier, what's going to happen, it's happening for the people that are very materialistic. It, that's what this is, it, it's happening for, okay? It's happening for the people that are more so, that are um, more focused on uh, materialistic uh, show, okay? It feels like these people that are living these lives of uh, extravagance are going to get hit. Um, the people that have uh, a lot of toys, you know, toys that you don't need. It feels like that's going to be a lot of toys or at least something that you really don't need is going to be taken away or it needs to go away. Um, it's not really needed that kind of thing. It's like what you don't need, you don't need. It's it's you, there's too much. You have too much. That's what I'm keep hearing. You have too much. It's it's gotten out of hand. This has gotten it out of, out of hand. Whatever that means. Um, somebody has let social pressure obviously get in the way of of what is truly important in life. Okay, so I think those people are going to be experiencing a big loss because. They aren't living the life that uh, they were intended to live. They've gone off track, okay? And it's they need to get their they need to get their get their their lives back on track. And the only way to get their lives back in, on track is to experience a loss and, and feel what it feels like to experience that loss. Another thing that I was that came to my mind today out of the blue. And when you get a when you get a thought out of the blue, something that you haven't ever thought of before, um, that's that's a message. That's a message that needs to be conveyed, perhaps to the world. Now we're going to be doing a live session in the next couple in, on the twenty second. I'm going to do a live session. We're going to talk about these kind of things that I'm coming up, but it's only going to be for members. I do apologize, but if you want to be a member, you'll be able to watch it. But anyway, let's get back to this. Um, Shit. It just went blank. Oh, oh, oh. It was about what happened today. It was out of the blue. It was a message that came out of the blue. I wasn't thinking about it at all, but it was like, it was a message from the divine, okay? It was about, you know, the, the we got all these shallow people in the world that are very, very shallow. And I was thinking about these shallow people who base their judgments on looks for example, um, fat people. Fat people are disgusting. Fat people don't deserve to have a happy relationship. Fat people don't deserve this. Fat people get ridiculed. Same as overly skinny people. People that are overly skinny. People that don't... Um, have a lot of money, you know, I, so anyway, I, this thought came to my head, you know, about, you know, and then I thought, and then I thought there's these, it, how, would, how would you feel? How can you judge somebody? This is about judgment. How can you judge somebody if you have never been in their shoes? You've never been in their shoes just because they're fat doesn't mean that they're a bad person doesn't mean that they don't deserve to be loved just because they are skinny same story but then we get these people that think it's disgusting it's gross there's something wrong with that person that person you know some people it's in their DNA some people have uh, they bury their their emotions in food some people uh, don't eat because of how they were treated when they were kids. You know, they were ridiculed when they were kids. You don't know what that person has been through. 
it doesn't make the person that is fit any better than the person that is not. I don't know where this message is coming from or where why I'm bringing this up, but apparently I was called to. So it's about judgment. And that's where the tower is going to fall. It's not about looks. It's not about your things. It's not about your fancy. It's not about being the fittest. What you look like on the outside is not who you are on the inside. And judging another person because they are fat or because they are skinny or because they don't fit the social stereotype that says this is how it's supposed to be makes you a bad person. It may, that, that's, that's something within you that needs to be worked on. That's not you. You are not being kind by judging that person in that way. By what you see on the outside, there's a problem with you. That's another thing that came up to me today too. Another different time today when I was doing the dishes. Anyway, this is all going to come up during the live session that we are about to do on the 22nd. We're going to do a live talk show and we're going to talk about all these things. But like I said, it's only going to be for, uh, unfortunately, it's going to be for paid members. And I'm not going to share the live, you know, it's for paid members. Um... So, yeah, the paid members will obviously be a part of it. And then the live will be up if you want to join later. The live is going to stay available. It's going to stay up. I'm not going to take it down. So anybody that has paid the $4.99 a month will get to come back and watch the live at a later time. Anyway, for some reason I needed to say all that stuff. I do not know why. Let's get started. I'm doing the intuition readings tomorrow. Those will all be updated in the members section as well. This is my deck. This is the deck that I made. As you can see, what just fell out. Ha! Huh! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Get your life back on track. Get your life back on Did I just not say that? Materialistically focused. They wanted me to give you this message. They absolutely did. Now, I made this when I first started doing tarot readings. The owl wants to make an impression here. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard with the camera like this. I go, there you go. I want you to be able to read it. Anyway, it says materialistically focused. Um, earthly matters are causing uh, poor judgment calls, basically. Okay? It's time to get your life back on track. Spiritual wake-up call. That's what's happening here. And that's, what, that's basically everything I just said. They're going to cause you to have a loss so that you wake up. You go through the awakening that you need to experience. So be prepared. 666. Get your life back on track. That's what this time of reevaluation. Un fucking believable. I'm telling you what, this is what and my intuition readings are gonna be done tomorrow. So anyway, but they're gonna be on the members only because it just is. Anyhow, so choices. Time to reevaluate your judgments. Seriously. And you're gonna be. You're going to be reevaluating them because there's a higher power involved that is going to take away something that is near and dear to you that you are that you really think you need to have, but you don't. So be prepared for it, okay? Ooh, this is somebody who's not learning a lesson. The world card reversed. The the world card reversed is uh. Lacking will, lacking goals, refusing to explore a new avenue, stuck in the present, stuck in the present. Um, what you resist persists. Oh yeah, this ten of ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles is about money. It's about abundance. There could be a change in your home, um, but this is lacking closure, lacking success. 
not learning a lesson. The home, it really is focused around the home, focused around the establishment. Um, somebody, you know, it's, it's, it's trying to make the home uh, perfect. You know, that's what I feel like this is. Interesting. Very materialistically focused here. Seven of Wands. Trying to be on top. That's what this is. Competitive. We have somebody's competitive nature that is tr they're trying to keep themselves on top. One step ahead of everybody else. That's what we have here. Huh. Oh my God. Two of Swords reversed. Now the Two of Swords reversed is uh, seeing the truth. Something being exposed. detaching. Somebody's going to be detaching from something. Somebody has been in a situation where they weren't seeing a situation. They weren't seeing it all. They weren't seeing it at all. They are obviously making a wrong decision, a poor choice. This is somebody that is emotionally cold. You know, it's not about emotions. It's about things. Oh, we have the Empress here. Now, the Empress is a beautiful individual. She is unconditional love. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You notice the bull could be a Libra. Um, this person is tender, loving, and abundant. Very, very beautiful, uh, gracious so this person is about to give birth to a new life. She gives birth to a new life. She has a lot of life experience behind her back. She has suffered through some sort of pain that has given her life experience. She's beautiful, even though she's green. She's beautiful. She is beautiful. Interesting. Now, this could be fighting for a, a beautiful, fighting for beauty, fighting for abundance. But she's all about unconditional love. Now, this is a mother. This is avoidance. Somebody has been avoiding they haven't been seeing a situation clearly, but this is giving birth to a new life. Hmm. This is plenty. This is the Empress has plenty. She doesn't need to have it all. This is having plenty. Plentiful. Interesting. Three of Wands reversed. Now that's not prepared. Not seeing the opportunities. There's been some sort of delay with both of these cards. There's been a delay. Maybe there's been a delay in abundance of something, some sort. There's been some sort of delay. A delay in success. This is something to do with the home. The Ten of Pentacles is about home. It's about security. It's about stability. Somebody has been trying to build up their security and they've gone overboard. I think they've gone overboard. You know, trying to compete. Trying to compete with somebody. This competition is so big. So they've gone overboard. And now there's going to be something, some sort, somebody has wasted. This is wasteful. You didn't prepare a, f a fish effectively or something like that. There's, there's no love here. Okay. Except for here. This is love, but this isn't love. This is all about what you think. Somebody was thinking that, uh, building up the home, you know, to make it look perfect, to make it look 
perfect was more important. Look, look, look. It's all about looks. Interesting. Wasted time. Somebody wasted time trying to prove something. They didn't complete this journey, success, this life lesson. Somebody has not completed this life lesson successfully. It's not about books. Sorry, but somebody really needs to hear this shit. Strength reversed and the Ace of Cups. Now the strength re reversed is a card of weakness, a card of poor health. Um, somebody that is feeling inadequate and needs to needs an ego boost. We have somebody here that lacks respect for others, is very controlling, lacks confidence and self-esteem. Therefore, they definitely need an ego boost. So, somebody has wasted time, because this is wasted time, trying to get the ego boost when they should have been focused on love. And a lot of you are like, psh, to heck with love, right? For those of you that said that, get ready for your tower moment. Okay, get ready for your tower moment because it's coming. Because love is more important than your things. Psh. Get ready for a loss. Get ready to wake up. It's coming. There's a new opportunity for love here. Unconditional love. Unconditional love. So I feel as though we have somebody that is about to get a wake up call. Because something is going to happen that is going to... Uh, there, it's like this this there's gonna be a loss. I know there is. I know there is. Somebody wasted their time pretending the two of swords pretending that they had happily ever after at home when it was not really successful. That's all a big lie, right? It's all fake. It's all a big lie. Don't think the universe can't see that. Unconditional love is where it's at. I also feel like we have somebody here that is about to be caught off guard. It's probably a Libra or a Taurus. This Libra or a Taurus or this beautiful, beautiful individual who is, is unconditional love. Is probably got somebody that is interested and is going to uh, make it known. So, if you are this person that offers unconditional love and puts love before everything else, be prepared. Be prepared for love to grow. Okay? Love is going to grow for this person that is already unconditional love. But for this person over here that has an ego problem, that hasn't been seeing that love matters more than show, Get ready for a spiritual wake-up call in the form of a tower moment. And I don't need any card to show that. I know it's coming. 
because I've been getting the messages out of the blue. And we're going to talk about out of the blue messages during the live on January 22nd, a Wednesday night, Eastern time between 7 and 8. But to watch that live, you will have to join at the, you have to hit the join button. Um, good luck.